This cannon was discovered in the Detroit River uh, back in July of 2011 and it was pulled from the water in October of the same year and since then has been undergoing restoration. I don't remember that junk being on Unless it was just that, maybe that's where it is. That's because those are the ones that would be on there for the first ship over to you. Yeah. So you were taking them off of the ships as is. Yes. When they were we were just doing a routine training dive and uh, happened through an area that we've basically covered hundreds of times before and just so happened on that day the conditions were just perfect, the visibility was perfect and uh, I seen it laying out there in the sand. I want to get too aggressive here, we, we, you know, we were able to bring up some of it as we started. This is a George II and not a George III. I mean, they're all, everything else. You know. Well, this cannon was underwater for 200 years, and it had started to corrode. It was covered with uh, accretions and zebra mussels and all of that. Came to claim it. Well, they didn't do that until 1796, so they're defending their grass. How big is it? Contreras uh, usually fire a ball, but um, they're firing a stone ball probably about an inch or, or two in diameter max. Oh, it's exciting to, for the team to have it here displayed. Uh, when we brought a little history back to the city of Detroit, we'll have opportunity to bring our kids here, our grandkids here, and it will always be displayed here for uh, people to see. Yeah. 11 2 0. The, this is the weight marking, the British style weight marking for ordnance. This is, this is long hundred weights, quarter weights, and pounds. Nice to see this, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this, 